Hi guys, it's Fernando. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to combine the HRI and the V-Ray Sun to produce a really nice illumination. Um, I want to show you what kind of illumination we are looking for. So basically, I have this scene that was made by uh, Ronan Beckerman. Um, I use an HRI and the sun system to produce this kind of illumination. Uh, you can see the shadows from the sun and also the really nice contrast produced by the HRI. I have this scene here. Um, all my settings are pretty much by default. The only difference is that I'm using in the image sample adaptive subdivision. The reason is because I don't have, I'm overriding all the material here, so I don't need the adaptive DMC because I don't have any reflections or refractions. I don't have too much blurry material. So I could use adaptive DMC because in this case, this is a faster anti-aliasing meetup. So I'm gonna use, for now, adaptive subdivision. But for my final production render, I will change adaptive to adaptive uh, DMC. Okay. Um, the idea is to use an HRI, so I'm gonna replace the sun in my GI color with an HRI image or a sky HRI image. So I'm going to select environment. I'm going to use a spherical uh, mapping and also I'm going to have a sky HRI. So this is the sky, the HRI that I'm going to use. I have two versions, one blurry for my BG color and uh, one um, sharp for my BG, uh, BG color. So the, the blurry one is for the GI color and the uh, sharp one is for my BG color. So I'm going to do the same thing in the BG color. Click environment. Okay, select the HRI. Okay, click OK. Because I'm using an HRI to illuminate my scene, I don't want to use uh, the physical camera. I don't want that the physical camera control my exposure, but I still want to use the physical camera maybe to control the white balance or the vignetting effects. So I'm going to uh, disable the exposure control. Um, by doing that, I will not use a physical camera to control the exposure. So those options here, the shooter speed and the F number and the film speed do not affect the, the exposure anymore. Okay. Um, I want to create my first render with the HRI. So let me be sure that I have the HRI in both sides. Uh, so it's okay. So let me create my first render. Okay, this is a render. As you notice, my I have the sun in the in the center of my background, and this is what I don't want. So I have to rotate the sun and keep your eyes on the shadows. I don't get any sharp shadows. I'm still getting some blurry shadow, but I don't have any sharp shadows there. And the idea is to use the sun to get some um, sharp shadows. Okay, another very important thing is that the that the big color, but the intensity of the big color of, of the background color is kind of good, maybe a little bit brighter, but the intensity of my illumination should be a lot brighter. So I'm going to increase the illumination to six and the background to two. And I'm going to rotate the HRI, maybe 110. And when I move the HRI, uh, I'm moving the HRI in, in Counter clock white, so 100 is going to give me the sun in any point in this direction, so from here to there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the B color with the background. And uh, one very useful tip that I use is to add a sphere in my uh, you can see the sphere here. So I usually add a sphere 
to see where are my reflections, my HDRI reflections. So in this way, I'm going to add some ball and uh, sphere, and I apply a middle material to that sphere to identify the sun or my reflection to get some point of reference. I'm going to click render again and pause the video a little bit. This is my render. You can see the illumination is pretty nice. My background is pretty nice. The illumination also is, is good. So I have a lot of brightness right now. But my problem is that I don't have any sharp shadows. The idea is to identify the, the direction of the shadows. You can see the sun here in this area. And my shadows is going to be somewhere in this other area. I need to control the position of the sun in order to produce shadows in the same area of my SGRI. So if I enable the sun system, you are going to see where is your sun shadows and actually it's in the opposite, completely in the opposite side uh, of what I needed because I need the sun in this area basically because the sphere told me that the sun is hitting uh, my surface in this area so it's going to produce shadows in the other area so let me move the shadows just a little bit the, the month and also I want to move the date or the hour to get some um, nice result and also you have to try to mimic the horizontal position of your uh, sun so you can see now the shadows seem to be uh, good in the right position but how I control or how add how I add the sun in my scene this the shadows is good right now so if you go to the options in this new build in the 1.40a if you go to the global switches you could enable the default light basically the default light in a SketchUp is the V-Ray sun so if you enable this option here, you are going to have the V-Ray Sun system in your render. The problem is how you control the intensity of the sun, because I'm not using the uh, physical camera. I disabled the exposure, so I'm not using the physical camera. If I let the sun with the multiplier of 1, I'm going to have a really bright scene. So the idea is to control the sun anywhere in the environment. But I have a problem here. I have the SGRI in my, in my background to get some reflection. So I could not use the BG color. The GI color produced me my illumination and I have the SGRI there. The only two options that I have is the reflection and the refractions. I'm going to enable the reflection just to control the parameter of the sun but in order to to throw my render I'm going to disable the reflection because I don't want to override the BG color but I need somewhere or I need room to control my sun in this way if I enable the sun now I have the parameter of the sun so I could control the intensity for example so let me reduce the intensity because I know that my sun is really bright I used to when I don't have the physical camera, 0.03 is a good is a good uh, sun multiplier to get a similar uh, illumination that you have with your default sun and with your default physical camera. So 0.03 is a good point to start. Also, I know that my uh, sun is very low to the horizon, so it's going to produce uh, should produce uh, um, blurry shadows. So I'm going to increase the size of the sun to produce blurry shadow to 10. If you have a lot of noise, you could increase the subdivision to control the noise of the shadows. But for me, it's okay like that. Remember, I don't want to override my reflection. So now I have to disable the reflection color. But I will not lose the sun parameter that I already set up. Okay, V-Ray is going to stick with, the, with those parameters. Now I have my sun and my SGRI enabled. Let me create a render to see what we have. 
here we go this is the render so let's the render finish but you can notice right now that I still have having the same illumination with the edge right? a little bit brighter because I have my sun but now I have the sharp shadows that I need to make a very uh, powerful illumination so and now I have the really nice contrast produced by the HDRI, my reflection in my glass, and also I have the sharp shadow that I need, but in this case I use the sun to produce that shadows. Remember control the shadows the sun position to the shadows options. Also enable the default light to enable your sun and use the reflection or the refraction um, color to control the sun parameter, but right before the render, disable this parameter to avoid overriding your VG color and apply the GI, the HDRI on the GI color to produce illumination and on the VG color to get some reflections. So this is the render. I think it looks pretty good, pretty nice exterior illumination with an HDRI and the sun system. So guys, this is all that I have for you today. Um, have a nice day and we are in December so Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye.